For much of the pandemic, Santa Clara County has been able to minimize COVID-19 infection rates, thanks in part to having one of the highest vaccination rates of any large county in the entire nation. According to county data, over 80% of eligible residents are now fully vaccinated. In areas hardest hit by COVID, like East San Jose, significant progress has been made to vaccinate the predominantly Latino and Vietnamese communities. I think that um, it hasn't exactly been one strategy. I think we've taken a very um, comprehensive approach to taking vaccine to people um, just about everywhere, including you know, schools, employer sites, um, you know, grocery shopping areas, people's homes. As of August 26, Latinos are recording nearly similar vaccination rates compared to the county's white population with 68.1 and 69.1 percent respectively. The county's Asian community leads all ethnic groups with an estimated 95 percent who have already been vaccinated. We do still have um, groups that are, you know, that we still need to focus on. Uh, our Latino community is still, you know, highly vaccinated in the 70 percent plus or so after um, the age of 50. But despite high vaccination rates in the county, there are some communities in East San Jose who have yet to receive their first dose of the vaccine. San Jose Planning Commission Chair Rolando Bonilla is calling on the county to look into increasing vaccine accessibility in East San Jose, where several zip codes are still recording some of the highest infection rates in the entire county. And to me, that's a problem. When 49% of your hospitalization rate as of August 20th is the Latino community, yet we're only 23% of the population, th th that means we're not doing enough. Bonilla, a COVID-19 survivor, says... Now that the FDA approved Pfizer's vaccine, the county should focus its efforts on targeting those who have yet to receive their first dose. The message isn't clear enough. The message is basically saying wear your mask because we're at the point now where there's a small group of folks, and I know this because I'm personally trying to convince people to get vaccinated, that need to understand in detail what happens to your body when you have COVID. At the end of the day, we're all fighting to save lives. The county tells Crom 4 News now that students are returning to class, they are also focusing on vaccinating the county's younger population by partnering up with local schools. The younger group, the 12 to 15 year olds, are, are really where we have some work to do. They're in the high 40s. Uh, and so we want to make sure that um, those kids are getting vaccinated. Reporting in Santa Clara County for Crom 4 News, Omar Perez.